we are given a chain of length L, H part of which is hanging from the end of the tube. So when this chain is released, it will start to fall down. We need to find when this end of the chain just escapes the tube, what will be the velocity of the chain. So here, of course, the force which is pulling down the chain is mg. So let's consider the mass, uh, linear mass density of the chain to be lambda kg per meter. Now we are going to break this into two parts. So first, we'll just take this part of the chain and then we'll consider this part of the chain. Now the common element between the two is the tension and the acceleration. So acceleration of whole chain will be same at all moments. So let's say it is A, so it will be A downwards here. And tension at this point on this part of the chain is towards right. And on the hanging part of the chain, tension is upwards. And let's also say the mass of this part of the chain is M dash. And if the X chain is left in the tube, so M dash obviously is lambda X. So that's how we write our first equation that tension is causing it, this part of the chain to accelerate. So tension is equal to M dash into A, where M dash is equal to lambda X. Now for this part of the chain, uh, we have a downward force Mg and tension is upwards. Now you may think that the chain is suddenly coming to rest. So there is a component of uh, force here also that might act on the chain, but that does not occur. See chain and ropes, they can only pull, they cannot push. So this component, which is already on the floor, it cannot push the upwards, it cannot push the chain upwards. It however will exert the force on the floor. And that will be an interesting problem in itself. But here we are not bothered about that. Here we are only concerned about the falling part of the chain. So again, the only two forces on the hanging part is tension up and mg down. And it's accelerating by a acceleration downwards. And mass is, because the height is h, mass is lambda times h. So we'll write f is equal to ma for this. So lambda h into g minus t is equal to lambda h into a. Now we have the term of tension in both. So let's get rid of that and we'll get this equation. And here we have a term of x. So let's write acceleration in form of x. Because anyway, we want to relate velocity and x. That's what we have asked. What will be the velocity when the chain will slip out of the tube? In other words, when the x will become zero. So we'll write acceleration as v dv by minus dx. So y minus dx is because in this term, everything is positive. So A is positive, X plus H is also positive and HG is of course positive. So everything we have turned, written in terms of magnitude. But if you write VDV by DX, <coughs> you can see here that X is reducing with time. So DX is a negative term. So to make this whole term positive, we'll just add a minus sign here. So since DX is negative, but A is positive, so we make the whole term positive with a minus sign here. Now we just integrate the limits of x. So initially the total length is L. So this part of the chain initially was total length L minus H. And finally it is zero. When it just comes out of the tube, X will become zero. That is the limit of x and limits of velocity will be of course 0 to v. So solving it, you'll get your answer. This is the v as a function, not as a function, as uh, the velocity when it will just come out of the tube. But of course, you can, for a given distance x also, you can find out what will be the velocity of the chain at that particular moment. So you'll just put the limits from L minus H to X in that case, and you will get velocity as a function of X. All right.